one timers, Matt and Justin. Uh, this one. The only South American team on this side of the bracket in Argentina who won Group F, taking on a very hit-or-miss squad um, in the runners-up of Group E, Switzerland. I don't know what to think about Switzerland. I mean, Switzerland is one of the teams that's supposed to be this kind of defense, uh, have a good defense. Um, I don't know, they're ranked six in the world, which, I mean... Coincidence that FIFA's ranking in Switzerland, they're sixth in the world. Uh, I'm not going to make that conclusion. <laughs> but just those things are, those are, those things, those two things are true. Uh, Switzerland got kind of ran up there. I did a crazy game with seven goals and lost it, kind of worked by France. But then Shakir, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, Shakiri. Yeah. I know he's a, a bear, he's a bear, he's a bear, man. Just uh, won a rip city on, <laughs> on, with a hat trick. I don't know where that came from. So um, he, was, he was big time, and, and they got they advanced through, through the group. And then you got Argentina, who found a way to win. Um, the kind of three close games. They they handled by the Herzegovina for the most part, but they there wasn't much of a doubt. But they did the Bosnia did come back a little bit. Uh, Iran played them as hard as uh, you could imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, there could have been a penalty kick given that could have changed the whole landscape, and then Messi decided I'm going to put one in the back, in the back of the net kind of single-handedly uh, in the 90th minute there. And Nigeria had, a, had a played them well as well, and they exploited them at times. So both teams, uh, more than Switzerland, up and down, and Argentina has definitely been exploited. Uh, I, I, it's, it's tough to say. Uh, both teams have had up and down, and I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, you know, Switzerland, that was, pro, that's, pro, it's got to be, for me right now, going into this point, top three matches up to this date when they have that late equalizer and stoppage time where they almost lost, um, but I, I forget which player, I forget, I don't remember his name right off the top of my head, but he made that, in my opinion, goal saving tackle because it was basically a free shot at the top of the box, made that tackle, then he got like run over, like a dude literally just, shoved him over, he got up, the referee played advantage, then he comes down, makes a pass out to the corner, uh, they fired in, and, and then they scored the, the game winner in stoppage time. Um, they had that fantastic game, but since then, um, you know, I, I mean, the Shakiri hat trick is pretty good, but at the same time, it was against a uh, really depleted Honduras side uh, that France had already beat. 3-0. Granted, there was a red card in that match to Honduras, but in the in the big match that I was waiting for, I thought it was going to be a fantastic match between France and Switzerland. They kind of forgot to show up until what, like the 80th minute or 85th minute? You know, it was already 5-0 by that point, and then they scored a wild, kind of long-out uh, free kick they probably shouldn't have scored, but then the, the second goal was, was really good. But yeah, I just, I don't know where to put this Swiss team. I, I really, I really don't. You, you, you never know exactly what's what kind of Switzerland team you're going to get? Argentina, to me, I'm not. I, you know, I'll be. I'm gonna just go out there and say it. They, they're not impressive to me. Um, if if Messi did not play for that team, I don't think they would be in this place because they're relying too much on Messi. The good news is Messi has found a way to. He found a way long out to score against Bosnia. He found a way long out to score against Iran, and he man, and he figured out a way to score two goals against Nigeria. But what really. It's, if I if I'm an Argentina fan, what scares me is the fact that none of those teams really play uh, other than Iran. Iran plays really good defensively. Um, they just I don't think have that. You, you just knew that they weren't necessarily going to have any sort of goal to to you know they don't have that top striker to score like in in Checo and and Victor Moses or Musa for Nigeria, but. Just when when those opportunities arose for Bosnia, they got the one they you know they spread out Argentina got that late goal, and for Nigeria, Musa in two. I just think that if if a a team finds a way to really limit Messi, I think Argentina's in trouble. Do I think it's going to be the Swiss? No, I don't think Switzerland's going to win this game. I think they might be they might be able to hold it on unless they just screw up royally like they did against France. But I think Argentina gets the job done here. But I think this is something that people in, in, that could potentially face Argentina need to take note. Hey, we figured out a way to, to shut down Messi, and we, we probably could win this game because Sergio Aguero, he, he hasn't really done anything. Um, and, and, and there was one other player I had on my mind that that I felt... 
Yeah, thank you. DeMaria, I, I felt like he should have um, be a little bit more on top, but these guys just haven't really looked that good to me. Especially the defense from Argentina, that they have not looked good at all. I, I, it's, it's really just messy and they don't have much else going offensively. Yeah. I, he really isn't that impressive. I mean, kind of more of a physical version of, of Brazil. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, he kind of had to, had to play, uh, had to rescue him. He had that great free kick, he had that great goal. Uh, he, had, he, had, he had a couple of great goals. He had the, goal, the great goal against the Rand, he had that free kick as well against Nigeria. Um, I think, I think Switzerland really, I, I honestly think Switzerland is going to win. I think Switzerland is going to find a way to win. Oh, wow. uh, I, I think, I, I just don't know if Messi, Messi is going to have to do, have, have to have another great goal where he dribbles through three guys like a Cohen. Like I don't think, um, the offense really doesn't look that dynamic. Yeah. It seems like it's a little more individual. Um, Switzerland has, if Switzerland can find a goal or two, I think they can find a way to shut down Messi. And they, it's because it's a lot of individual plays for Argentina right now. Um, I wouldn't want to give a free kick anywhere near the box as well. So if they can find a way to shut down Messi, I think they find a way to win. All right.